A major patch just went live for Halo Infinite, changing some really important things when it comes to CTF and Stockpile. We have a store update with a fan favorite set coming back into Halo Infinite, and also a weekly reward I think you might want to grind out. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again, give you another news and informational video about, well, Halo. If you guys like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this, and it greatly helps out the video and channel get a better place within that all famous YouTube algorithm. But let's not waste any more time and get right into the details here. So a patch just went live for Halo Infinite. I wanted to detail what goes into this patch, not like anything crazy game changing, obviously, but some very important minor changes that will incredibly increase the playability of certain modes like Stockpile and CTF. So the first thing they mentioned, that Stockpile, like the power seeds, will no longer spawn in unreachable areas of the map. Obviously, you want to be able to play the objective, literally. Another big change was to the sudden death mechanic of capture the flag in Halo Infinite. This applies to social and ranked where before if the flag was away but the timer ran out even if the flag was in play the game would end well now it looks like that's going to be changing up quite a bit here saying that the sudden death will start when a round timer expires and an outcome affecting flag is away from its base so they provide some examples here saying if Cobra team is winning one to zero and only the other team as in the eagle team flag is away it will not trigger the sudden death as in that means that Obviously, Cobra is trying to score 2-0. That doesn't really affect the gameplay at all. But this one here is saying if Cobra is winning 1-0 and Cobra's flag is away, as in the Eagle team is trying to score, then it will trigger sudden death. Super important there. Really glad to see that change happen. In the last example, they provide saying if Cobra and Eagle team are tied, either team's flag being away will trigger sudden death as well. So that's a really important thing to know. The sudden death timer will pause if any outcome affecting flag is contested and will reset if the flag is being picked up. Again, super important to know. This happened to me previously where I was trying to about to score a flag that would tie the game. And since I was uh, only trying to hold the flag, the timer ran out and well, we lost the game. Even though I was like, going to score if I had like an hour five seconds. It was just sad to see that happen. So then also another thing saying that if all outcome affecting flags are returned, i.e. no flags are away from the base, then the sudden death will terminate and the round will end. Would make sense how you'd want to do that as well. And like I said earlier, that the overtime rounds will be affecting the arena as well as the ranked play as well. So it's great to see that these changes are happening right before the Kansas City event happening. So this will definitely help out when it comes to those longer CTF games, especially on maps like Bazaar, which tend to not really go to the or limit and tend to go to time limit that these kind of changes are going to be crucial for the competitiveness of halo let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on these changes i think they're exactly what we need for overtime sudden death rules now for the content this week guys we have a weekly ultimate challenge of a weapon charm i believe this might be the first weapon charm we've had as a weekly ultimate it's like a brass knucks kind of thing you can put on top of your weapon you can see here's the example of what it looks like on the weapon here kind of actually looks pretty cool it's actually might be something i'd be willing to grind out for but uh we'll see if we got time Time to do it as well as the challenges tend to be pretty tricky when it comes to completing them all within a week at least for me which i'm looking through all the challenges this week at least for my hopper that i see right here none of them are like stop enemy kill streaks and stuff like that they seem pretty straightforward like just play the game kind of challenges which is great to see that 343 is finally taking that feedback of saying no more like depending on other people's performance for you to actually get what you need for when it comes to completing a challenge so that's great I want all the challenges within your control which is exactly what we need to have next let's take a look at the shop which we have a fan favorite the Vesda set has come back at a discounted price at 1500 credits right here when it comes with this you get this coating which does look pretty clean I do like this coating quite a bit. You also get the Zvezda helmet here as well. You get the cover on top of that helmet. You also have a visor. You also have the shoulder pieces, which do look pretty sweet as well. Uh, of course, this is all up to you if you feel like this is worth the 1500 credits. You get a chest piece on top of that for the attachment. You get some new shin guards when it comes to your armor set and also a brand new pose with the Hydra. So if you like that, more power to you. The Flash Fjord is back. And we've seen this armor coating before when it comes to the Mark 7 armor set right here. We also have it for your Warhog. Again, like I've mentioned previously, this kind of reminds me of like that Goku logo in a way. You also have a cow catcher uh grill on it which does look pretty sweet on your warhog it does look really awesome you got the assault rifle coating you got the battle rifle coating 
You have the VK-78 commando coating, which this weapon definitely does need a lot more coatings for sure. You have a sidekick coating, which all these look, do look pretty clean, pretty nice. I am liking these quite a bit. So for 1,000 credits, if it's worth it to you, jump in and do that. We also have the tank rank bundle as well. When it comes to a pretty sweet gold and black coating right here for your tanks. We also have the tank beats everything weapon charm on top of that. And then a bunch of these, like, honestly, they kind of randomly feel like they're thrown in, which is like the, uh, the Kabuto emblem right here, which I think would be part of like the, I don't know, the 10 right battle pass, but at least if you want to jump in and grab that for 400 crets, more power to you on that one. And also for the daily bundle, we have the sun setting attached weapon coating for your rocket launcher, which does look pretty nice. So will you guys finally be picking up the Zvezda set? I've been seeing a lot of hype on Reddit and on Twitter about this set. A lot of people really like that coating and also the armor set as well. And also some great changes to sudden death when it comes to CTF. But guys, if you guys like these kind of informational videos, make sure to check out the videos right here if you missed any content from me recently. And thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.